So stem cell is basically a set of high-pass and low-pass filters arranged in the common surround formats. It supports 5.0 through to 7.1.2 on Mac and Windows, and comes in AAX DSP and native flavours. It's pretty heavy on the DSP chips, so you won't get some of the larger formats to run at very high sample rates, but any regular surround mix will be fine. The filters have fixed frequencies at reasonably small intervals, and there is a set of different values for the LFE. Because of the load that stem cell already places on the DSP chips, we couldn't allow any de-zippering during parameter changes, so you do need to choose a quiet moment to automate a change in the filter settings. But in our experience, this is almost always a set and forget kind of tool. Apart from the high pass and low pass settings, it has a basic spectrogram, just to give you a feel for the signal present on each channel. You also have an enable button in case you want to temporarily switch off some combination of channels. You have a listen button, which inverts the two filters to give you an approximation of what is being removed. And then you have a redirect button, which sends the low frequencies filtered out of each channel off to the sub, the LFE. And all of these controls can work with the option key on the Mac to change all. The idea is simply to filter out unwanted frequencies before you commit the signal to a recorded stem. So you could insert it on a master fader for the bus you're recording, or you could insert it on an OGS track if you have one of those for each pre-double stem. The advantage of filtering in this way is that you can gain a lot of headroom by not allowing very low frequencies to sneak through to the record track. 10 Hz really has no place in the main speakers and is only going to eat up a lot of headroom, causing you to hit the limiters sooner and making it difficult to get a lot of perceived level out of the stem. But of course, these days it's really easy for sound designers to pitch things way, way down and, and accidentally add ultra-low frequencies, or DC, without even knowing it. By setting a nice steep roll-off at a reasonable frequency, we can claw back some of that headroom, giving the main speakers a break and letting the sub do the thumping. You might also want to set a low-pass filter for the top end of your stem. Some mixers like to set these roll-offs on effects and foley stems in order to catch screaming whistles and to smooth out any overly bright studio recordings that might become obvious in a home theatre mix. There are some situations where you'd want to bass manage your monitors. If you're working on smaller speakers, then you probably struggle to play back a proper theatrical mix at reference level without clipping. You're also unable to hear a lot of low frequency content in your dialogue or your sound effects library, and if you don't know it's there, you don't know to fix it. Stem Cell offers a redirect button on each channel, so you can use it as a powerful bass management system. You can choose the crossover frequency and the slope, and you can set it individually for each channel. For example, you may want to emulate the bass managed surround speakers that are now part of the new immersive formats. So that's stem cell. Please do get in touch if you have any questions or suggestions. We're always keen to hear from you.